Alright, getting ready to install the Perrin uh, Turbo Sump Restrictor. This is what all it comes with. Motor restrictor and some zip ties and a couple hose clamps. <clears throat> so this is going to be a very cold start, as in the car's been sitting for about a week. And it's been cold all week, and right now, I think it's just below 20 degrees outside. Or it's slightly warmer in here, but... It's still definitely cold, so now a lot of it's going to be some condensation and all that. But we'll see if there's a difference on the cold start, even besides the condensation and that. The roads may be icy. Some restrictor and see the difference. All right, <clears throat> got the restrictor on. I uh, didn't film the process, but it's pretty straightforward. Just took me a few minutes. There it is, right there. Just cut the hose an inch or two below where it feeds into the engine and stick it in one side and the other side. Secure it with some uh, hose clamps. <clears throat> this is a little tricky getting it in there, but it's nothing like terrible. It just kind of kind of fights you a little bit because it's a tight space. <clears throat> so there's that. <clears throat> and definitely help taking out the fan so you can get your arm down in there. Kind of kind of do that. <clears throat> spilled a little coolant, so I thought it'd be a good idea to try to take this line off, but all I did was spit out coolant, so I said screw it. <clears throat> so now. Started it up. And again, if there is still a lot of smoke, I'm giving the benefit of the doubt because there's definitely a lot of condensation in there and all that because it's been sitting for about a week. Still haven't gotten tuned yet. Should be getting it tuned pretty soon. So. pretty much the same but I'm fairly certain that's pretty much all mostly condensation a little bit and come back and check try to get some of the condensation out and see how it looks okay so I have not driven the car because uh, I still need to tag tag it or update my tags so the car hasn't been driven so I don't know it needs to be driven to clear out some more of the condensation 
or if it needs to be driven for a while for the restrictor to start working and get all the excess oil out of there. But to me, it looks like it might be worse. And I did my uh, seafoam my car a while back, and that's when I was having some issues. So I wasn't able to drive it properly that day, but a week or so, about a week afterwards, I was able to kind of get out and drive it around a little bit after I fixed the issue. So possibly, maybe there's still some sea foam in there. Uh, so there's lots of variables for my car in particular. <clears throat> but I don't know why it would seem like it's worse. I mean, it's not leaking any oil. I checked to make sure it's not leaking. The arrow is pointing up. Oil's 198, cool and warm, so the car's warm. It's fine up here. Yeah, you can see there was a lot of condensation in there, so that could be part of it too. I'm not trying to make too many excuses, but I'm assuming a company like that knows what they're doing when to sell you something that does nothing or makes a problem worse. So, this is it for now. Maybe it, uh, it looks different on camera, but in person, it definitely looks like it's like it's worse. Um, <coughs> after, uh, well, even before I get tuned, after I redo the tags, uh, I'll take it out and drive it around real good. Do some videos of it driving around. See if it looks any better then too. Could this be that pretty much all it does is sit all week and then I'll let it run and warm up, kind of rev it up a little bit uh, every Saturday or Sunday until I get it tuned. I haven't really been taking it out. I've been driving my other car, which I know is definitely not good on these, especially since it's direct injection and all that. Uh, it's not going to kill the car. So. I'll put the camera down and rev it up a little bit, see how it looks when I rev it up. Because from the mirror, it doesn't look that bad when I'm revving it, but we'll see. It doesn't, it doesn't smell like coolant. I mean, really, it doesn't even, it just kind of smells like exhaust. Uh, so I don't think I have a bad head gasket or anything like that. So, hopefully after I actually drive it and it gets warmer out and all that, it'll start uh, showing signs that it's working. <laughs>